welcome to another episode of Dream Home Cooking. Today I'm going to share my panko parmesan crusted pork chop recipe with you guys. And along with it, I have the most incredible side dish. It's from one of my dear friends, Kim. It's her recipe. It's butternut squash ravioli with a butter pecan sauce. It's out of this world. And then I have some lemon roasted asparagus I'm going to do. And for dessert, I have a chocolate chip pound cake that's out of this world. So because this cake takes a little while to bake, I'm going to go ahead and do it first and get it in the oven. So what you want to start with is a just a box of cake mix, devil's food uh, chocolate cake. This is not the kind of cake your doctor's gonna be happy you're eating. It's got a lot of bad things, well, not bad things, good things, but they're not great for you, but it's okay to splurge once in a while. So you've got the um, chocolate cake, the devil's food cake mix, and then three ounces of instant chocolate pudding. Then I have two sticks of butter, and you wanna make sure you use real butter. And I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this before I add the other ingredients, just to get it going. Okay, I've got that somewhat mixed. Now, the next thing is to add two cups of sour cream. I know, but this is a fantastic cake. And it's wonderful just by itself or with a little dollop of whipped cream on top or ice cream, but it's always a hit when I make it. So there's the two cups of sour cream and then you're gonna add five eggs. And I'm just gonna pour a couple of eggs in at a time. Okay. Okay, so that is mixed well. You wanna blend it for about five minutes. And I do like to use my stand-up mixer, but I just, I didn't get it out today. So either one works. So then the last steps are to put a teaspoon of almond extract, and this is a real key to this cake. You don't wanna leave that out because it really gives it a wonderful flavor. And then lastly, two cups of chocolate chips. And your batter is gonna be real thick, so don't be alarmed by that. So then you're gonna just fold in the almond extract and the chocolate chips until it's all mixed well. And then I'm gonna pour it into this greased bunt pan and to me, the best thing on the market is this cooking spray with flour. I think it's wonderful. So I sprayed my bunt pan already, and then it's gonna bake in the oven at 350 for 55 minutes. All right, so I've got all these chocolate chips mixed in there, so now I'm ready to pour it in the bunt pan. And you can see how thick this batter is. You just carefully go around I just want to get it in there and then I'll spread it around to even everything up. Okay, so that's all the batter. So you just want to take your spatula and just kind of spread it so that it's even in the pan. Okay. And then I like to just jiggle it a little bit and just sort of tap it on the counter. And now it's ready. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for 55 minutes. And then when we come back, I'm gonna get started on the pork chops. In choosing a contractor in today's market, you know, finding someone that is going to take care of you and make sure that you're happy with your product, with the quality. It's not an easy task today. The most important thing to me is doing what you say you can do, taking care of the customer, installing a, a, a product that is superior. My motto is call the lady with a team you can trust, and I feel confident that we are a team that you can trust. There's something about carpet that gives a room a warm, soft feeling. Our carpet also gives you something else, peace of mind. All of our exclusive carpet brands are made in the USA and come with a lifetime warranty. So feel free to live your life exactly the way you want. Get your soft carpet from the flooring experts at Woldy Flooring. Visit our new showroom in Madison, locally owned since 2002. If you're looking to remodel or build your dream home, 
It all starts at the Dream Studio by Woodland Homes. At Woodland Homes Dream Studio, you'll work with seasoned professionals dedicated to providing you with the very best. Whether you're starting from scratch or remodeling, and with thousands of selections to choose from, the Dream Studio offers everything you need at the absolute highest quality, all under one roof. The Dream Studio by Woodland Homes. Live your dream. Call 830-9000 today. So now I'm ready to start on these delicious pork chops. So here's how it goes. You, you want to get a nice pork chop that's about an inch and a half thick with the bone in. And it's sort of a, a little process. So first I'm going to season both sides of the pork chops with my typical salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And I think when you're pan frying stuff like this, it's great to just layer your seasonings. I've got them in here, here, and here. And it just brings out the flavor and makes it delicious. So I'm just gonna get these four seasonings on there first. And you also wanna make sure that your pork chops are nice and patted dry with a paper towel because they'll sear a lot better. You don't want any moisture in there. Okay, so then I'm gonna flip them and do the other side. And this is one of those recipes that you start a pork chop on the stove and then we're gonna finish it in the oven. And I think that makes all the difference in the world because I don't know if you guys have ever had an issue with pork chops, how they're just, they're just really hard to get tender, even on the grill sometimes. Um, but this is a foolproof recipe that I promise you they will be delicious and juicy and tender. Okay, so I've got all my seasonings. Now, this is a cup of breadcrumbs and a cup of panko breadcrumbs mixed together. I did not season anything in here. I just put a little pepper because these are the Italian seasoned panko and Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, so you don't need to season that. This is two eggs and a half a cup of whole milk with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder in it. And then I have um, just plain, just all-purpose flour with some salt and pepper in it. And I'm gonna add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And this is the Parmesan cheese that's in the, in the jar or the little uh, sprinkle bottle, not the coarse shredded Parmesan. You don't want that for this recipe. You want this Parmesan cheese to blend in well with the flour. Okay, so that Parmesan cheese is mixed in with the flour, and if you want to kick it up a notch, you can also add some Parmesan cheese to the panko. So now, it's a breading process, and you know, I just don't know of any other way to do it than with my hands, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that. So you want to start, and you want to do it in this order, because this is what's gonna give you that nice uh, crunch. So you want to first put it in the flour, and then you wanna shake off the excess flour. Then we're gonna dip it in the egg mixture, and then the breadcrumb mixture. And this is a dish that you can actually do this if you're entertaining. Um, you can just do up to this point, and then you can put these breaded chops back in the fridge and then just take them out later, let them rest a little bit, and then finish cooking them. All right, so I'm gonna finish breading these up and then we're gonna get them in a nice hot skillet. And so now the next step is I'm gonna carefully take them over here to the stove and I have um, some vegetable oil that's heating in a black skillet and this, if you have a black skillet, that's the best thing to use for this. But I heated it until you see a little bit of smoke coming up from the oil and you wanna heat it on about medium high, not a full blown high heat. And I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna brown two at a time. Cause you definitely don't wanna overcrowd the skillet. So these are gonna brown for about three minutes on each side. And then I'm gonna transfer them to this wire rack, cook these other two, and then I'm gonna get this excess oil out of the pan and then I'm put them back in this pan and finish them in the oven. All right, so this has been cooking for almost three minutes. So you see how nice and brown it is. But these are so thick that they've got to finish in the oven in order for it to be cooked at the proper temperature. So I'm gonna let these cook another two minutes, get these other two browned up, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys how we do this wonderful butternut squash ravioli. 
Since 1983, individuals and businesses in Alabama have relied on Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel for their legal representation. Our experienced attorneys offer high-quality legal counsel in commercial law, real estate, and personal injury litigation. So if you need an attorney, hire the best attorney you can. Call the experienced North Alabama attorneys of Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel to arrange your initial consultation because we're dedicated to setting the standard for legal services. At Quality Plus, our motto is don't call three, call me, because where else can you find North Alabama's finest craftsmen who can handle all of your residential roofing, drywall, and painting needs? At Quality Plus, all work is 100% guaranteed, and no job is too big or too small, whether it's new construction or remodeling. So for your roofing, drywall, and painting needs, don't call three, call me. At Quality Plus Production, 256-990-7578. I had the best dream last night. We were building a new house or remodeling, and I found the most gorgeous tile. Tumble noche for the master bath, Venetian gold granite for the kitchen, and a beautiful custom backsplash. And while shopping, I ran into Jean-Luc. So, you're heading to Jenkins Brick and Tile today? Yeah. I'll go with you. Jenkins Brick and Tile, Madison Boulevard in Madison. We'll show you the tile of your dreams. Okay, so these are all nice and uh, they, I breaded them, I seared them on each side, but they're nowhere near cooked. They've got to finish in the oven. Normally, I put them back in the black skillet that I browned them in, but because these are the biggest pork chops I've ever seen, they won't fit in my black skillet. So I am just going to bake them on this rack, in this pan, and any excess uh, grease will go out and that'll be wonderful. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. In just a minute, I'm gonna get these asparagus ready and this is a real simple recipe for lemon roasted asparagus so you just want to squeeze about a teaspoon of lemon juice fresh lemon juice over the asparagus then i'm going to add just a little olive oil just drizzle it over the asparagus and then a little salt and pepper and it's that easy and i roast them at 400 for about 12 to 15 minutes so I'm gonna get these things in the oven and then when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys how I make the delicious butternut squash ravioli. My father started this business in 1977. The people that work for us is part of what sets us apart. All of our employees have experience. All of our plumbers have been with us for 10 years or greater. Our motto at Dean and Son is quality and service. We're gonna do quality work. We don't leave people hanging. We're there when we're supposed to be. We're done when we're supposed to be. Living up to what you sell and service them after they pay you, that's where your integrity in the plumbing business comes. Dean and Son Plumbing Company. Call today at 518-9780. Hello and welcome to our dream home studio. You know, uh, Melissa, this uh, dream studio is so much fun for all of our customers because we have thousands of selections here. But one of the things that we're heavily involved in is remodels. If you're interested in remodeling, having a new updated kitchen with new tops, new flooring, new appliances, give us a call at Woodland Homes and ask for Tony, 830-9000, and we would love to turn your kitchen into a dream kitchen. So give us a call today. Okay, now to me, we're at the best part in the show when I share this recipe with you guys. It will blow you away how good this is and how simple it is. And my sweet friend Kim gave me this recipe and I said, I've got to do this on a cooking show. My family loved it when I made it. And it's easy, you buy the ravioli. This is butternut squash ravioli in the, you buy it in the refrigerator section, it's fantastic. So you boil these for about five or six minutes. And I have, um, some water boiling back here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in there. And you don't wanna cook them too long because they're basically cooked. You're just soften, softening them up. Okay, so while these are in here, and I like to kind of put them in there one at a time so they don't stick. And then I'm gonna give it just a little stir. And now, here comes the sauce for this, and it's unbelievable. It is a stick of butter and a cup of chopped pecans and a little salt and pepper. 
And who would think that this would be as good as it is, but when you put these pecans in here and you start browning them in this butter, it's basically a brown butter sauce with pecans. It's fantastic. And it complements the pork chops. It goes very well with it. So I hope you guys will try this recipe. I need to bump my heat up some. All right, and the chocolate cake smells delicious, the pork chops. Mike is gonna be here in a little bit and he's gonna tell you guys all about Forest Ridge. That is one of our communities in the Monrovia area. And once again, it's in a fantastic location, beautiful lots out there. There are even some lots to build basement homes on. Um, excellent school district, close to 565. Forest Ridge is another community that we are very excited about and I encourage you guys to go out, take a look at it and uh, Mike will give you guys a lot more details in a little bit. Okay, so you want to stir this constantly um, as these pecans brown because they can quickly burn, so you don't want to leave this. But it takes about five to seven minutes. And you can almost start to smell it. You know it's ready because it has that wonderful nutty smell. And I don't know if I mentioned that this is two pounds of the ravioli. All right, this smells delicious. I went ahead and drained the uh, butternut squash ravioli and now I'm just gonna carefully add them to the butter sauce. You gotta be careful because they're a little tender. And you really don't want to cook them anymore. It's basically just to get, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the heat and now you just wanna coat all the little ravioli. And I'm just gonna leave it off, set it to the side until my pork chops are ready and the asparagus. So when we come back, we're gonna have Mike here to tell you guys all about Forest Ridge and we're gonna taste this delicious food. When we came to looking for a cabinet company and a uh, manufacturer to use and with Wellborn being the selection, Wellborn has a good foundation within the company and the folks that run their company. And when you have a good foundation, things typically follow suit with that and things will, will stay steady. Their values, I feel like, are on a solid foundation. I feel like their true intent is to build a product that will be a lasting product. You're going to love what you see. Wellburn Cabinets, the essence of cabinetry at Woodland Homes of Huntsville. Want to create something extraordinary? Create perfection. Our lifestyle appliances make it easy. GE Monogram, Bob Wallace Appliance, and you, when only the best will do. Okay, so today we have a special guest and and it is the star of Dream Home Cooking, <laughs> Melissa Friday. So, you Ooh, know, you I think? love this house. <laughs> <laughs> I do. How do you it's like that gorgeous. Front door? I mean, is that not? Yes, it's that is beautiful. The, the, it, beautiful. It weighs a couple of thousand yeah, pounds. I, I mean, it. but it just makes such mm -hmm. a stately impression. You know, I your agree. front door is your first impression, oh, and you never go along with uh, just yeah, a gorgeous I mean, front door. Just, so. Gorgeous. The gorgeous double yes. semi arch front door. And the kitchen and the everything is just incredible. Beautiful home. It's a Crestview yeah. floor plan. And uh, we uh, developed this floor plan, I guess, about a year and a half ago. And it has been one of our best sellers. Actually, I don't think we've built this home and it, and it not sold prior to us completing yeah. it. Uh, I know that you checked out the kitchen. Yes. You probably, what'd you think? Loved it. I okay. mean, it's just, the serving island. Well, let's go check the, it out. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's look, cause I, I really was blown away by the brick and the cabinets inside of the brick. You know, perfect for entertaining, mm -hmm. okay? Because you've got this to where if you wanted to basically set your food up for entertaining and you know, we, have a keeping room in our house and we just love this because this yeah. is I mean this is where we live this is and, where the, we live. Yeah. and when your guests come over you're in the kitchen or in the keeping room everybody Absolutely. gathers here so I Absolutely. love this Absolutely. is a, a nice flow all right so this kitchen of course all of our homes feature Wellburn 
cabinets. And one of the nice things about this is we've incorporated um, the brickwork in with the cabinetry. Yeah, so I love that. this is, I mean, it's right here. All your spices. When you're cooking, they're just right here and you got them on both sides. Uh -huh. Beautiful. So let's look at the rest of the house. So basically, you you know, come back to the grand foyer here. This is what we call a decorative ceiling package, and it's a five step. There's actually five pieces of trim in this package. And not only that, at the very top of the window, we've incorporated our keystones. I love that. And that's basically where we step it out, and then all the trim, trim wraps around that. There, there is so much trim detail work in our homes that when people come into it, they're just absolutely blown yeah, away. It makes a tremendous difference. It does, and we want to open it up. You can see how we've got a lot of windows and a lot of glass, uh, and along the back, we can add transoms all the way across I just like to basically that. give us a lot more light coming in. And I love the transom Transoms concept. Inside the house, yes. We've done this in our home and, and this is just a, a very, very nice feature. Now, one of the things that, okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we just started doing this too. There's so much new stuff that we're doing in our homes. It's absolutely fabulous. You gotta come out and look. But this is a zero entry shower. So there's no step. It's zero entry. It just subtly slopes. It leads into a fabulous shower. But how wonderful for an elderly person Absolutely. or a handicapped person. I mean, that's completely feasible. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I think you that's know, a we're great just, idea. I mean, we're just basically, you know, thinking ahead. And this shower also has a lot of not only ceramic tile, but natural stone and then it also has granite in it as well. So we're really doing a lot of neat things with our showers uh, today uh, that we weren't doing just a year ago. Kudos to Waldy Flooring. I mean, they, they, they just, job. they are so talented. Absolutely, so, um, you know, it takes a great team in order to be able to build a great product. And when you invest into a Woodland home, that's exactly what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a, a great product, you're gonna get a great team of professionals, and uh, we, we make the building experience fun, easy, and enjoyable. We'd love to see you this weekend. We're in Forest Ridge uh, right now, but all of our communities and all of our homes are open this weekend. Uh, so we'd love to see you out at the model, or you can give us a call at 256-830-9000. Uh, so look forward to seeing you and making your dreams come true with a new Woodland home. Okay, we're back, and surprise, surprise, I got Mike in the kitchen. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> smells delicious, and uh, this, is, this has got to be one of my favorite meals. Oh, you say that about everything, but, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad, I'm glad you love it all. No, it's but, delicious. I mean, have you ever seen a pork chop so big? No, that's a big, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a splitter right there. Yeah, that we'll is a splitter, those. for sure. And you know, um, my baking skills, if you've been watching Dream Home Cooking for any length of time, they know that I have some mishaps from time to time. <laughs> so I held my breath, but this came out beautiful and it is a delicious cake. I would encourage y'all to try all these recipes. And this butternut squash ravioli that Kimmy gave us, the it's recipe That's awesome. I mean, it it's, is, it's, it's, it's really, it's really good. It's decadent, it's very rich, but it is absolutely delicious. If you want to impress your friends and family, make this whole meal it for them. It smells delicious. Thank and is you. that the cake that you uh, caught on fire a couple years ago? Yeah, when you were there? <laughs> I'm not the baker. <laughs> that, that, that made our blooper episode. Yeah, it so. did. I did it about five years ago, so I thought, I'm going to bring it back, and this time I won't catch it on fire. Yeah. So it was Well, a, let me, let, let's do this. Let me tell you what's going yeah. on about Forest Ridge. Okay. I mean, it I is, think yeah, it's a great community. It is a great community. It's uh, located in Monrovia, and uh, we've been building in there, I guess, for a couple of years. And, uh, you know, we're, we're able to start um, our signature series home in there for, uh, so I think we started at 377. Yeah. You know, but a lot of the homeowners in there, when we're doing their homes, I mean, they're, you know, they're spending 400,000. We just had one gentleman who did a big, beautiful outdoor swimming pool mm -hmm. and, and uh, cabana and cooking cabana. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a community that's just maturing very, very nicely. Mm -hmm. and beautiful lots. Well, it's surrounded. It, it's kind of like it does sit in a cove mm -hmm. because it is surrounded. And our home sites are, you know, anywhere from a half acre. And we have some home sites that are, that are an acre home yeah. sites. And basement so sites. We do have basement home sites in there. So, um, you know, it's just a, it's a great community, a great location. Mm -hmm. And 
of course, it's just right down the street from from where we live. Right. And right. Uh, neck of the woods we, for years. yeah, it has, and, and it's just a, a great location because literally, you can just jump on I-565 or a research park, and then I-565, yeah. and it's easy access. It's mm-hmm. easy to get in and out, and uh, the schools uh, right down the street, and. They've just approved a new uh, high school for this yes, particular that's area, right. and the location is actually less than a half a mile away. So, Forest Ridge location is just getting better and better and better. It is, and, and our so. children have gone through that whole school system from kindergarten to graduate. Well, Dylan's got two more years, yep. but fantastic school system, right? Yep. In the, right in the backyard. So. Absolutely. And you know, one of the uh, one of our customers, we ended up doing a buy uh, buyout program for them, and it and it worked great. And the, pretty much the way that program works is, we commit to give you a certain price for your home, and if it doesn't sell, then it kind of acts as a safety net. And so their home didn't sell, uh, but they still moved forward, closed on uh, their new woodland home in Forest Ridge, and and uh, then we uh, purchased their home back, and within 30 days mm-hmm. we had that home sold. So it's a great, great program. That's takes so much stress out of the whole it process does. and it makes it enjoyable for them to enjoy the journey building a new home. Absolutely. So well, I, I think you know, uh, people buy a, a home once every seven to ten years and so much changes oh, and yeah. so that's why we just encourage you know our viewers out there to to give us a call or come by one of our models and talk to one of our new home sales professionals because we've got some great great programs uh, our buyout buy, buyback program we're a full-fledged real estate company now yep. and so uh, if you all have a, a home that you need to sell or property you need to sell uh, you know we can sell your property and what's amazing about that is is we have literally 10 different models and over the course of a month we'll have anywhere between 150 to 200 prospects that come in so we are loaded with customers loaded with prospects and we need additional property besides woodland homes in order to be able to fill the demand so the program is just working uh, absolutely fantastic so you know Forest Ridge is just an awesome community and if you haven't gone out and visited uh, I would encourage you to go out and visit uh, Forest Ridge not only Forest Ridge but all of our communities because you know we want to make it simple and easy and we've got great great communities so for information you can certainly give us a call at uh, 8309000 And uh, for Melissa's recipes, you can log on to woodlandhomes.com. Yep. And we'd like to also give a big shout out to our sponsors that make this show possible. They do an absolutely fantastic job. Yes, they do. They are wonderful. And you can look all of them up on our website and go directly to their company links from our website. And don't forget Facebook. Uh, We're Woodland Homes of Huntsville, Woodland Real Estate, and Dream Home Cooking. We'd love for you guys to friend us on all three. So y'all come and see us. Uh, We'd love to see you out in the community and, and show you how easy it is to get into a new woodland home so y'all come and see us let's I'm eat i'm starving this is it yeah this smells good all right